Nadia had the opportunity, she had the fortune, if you like, to have it all. Our wars are getting worse, our bombs are becoming more destructive, our humanity, crime is higher than ever, and we're running out of resources, and there are more wars than ever. So there's something dreadfully wrong all over the world. She was offered some movies, and she said no as lead actress. So she had a huge opportunities. She just walked out of the system. She left. It's a global problem. Although electronics and technology is moving rapidly into the future, our social ideas are not. Are you Nadia Kazam? No. Who are you? Nem. Where is Nadia? She's dead. What happened to her? The goals for this country blue, blue. may refer any of a number of similar colors. Our peace. The market will work to solve this problem. Blue is considered to be one of the three primary additive colors in the RGB system. Nadia had a great childhood. She spent her first three years in Thailand, and then she lived in South America and Colombia. She lived in Mexico, in London, Spain, Italy, Israel. She was a child, she was very young, so she was very used to seeing those homeless children, those hungry people, and it didn't touch her, didn't affect her personally. The monetary system is the most dangerous system ever evolved because it prevents people from advancing. It prevents people from sharing ideas because I'm not going to let you know what it is because I want to maintain that advantage. So we are holding back the development of civilization. Having had the childhood she had, so traveling and being able to speak with many people in various languages and more or less fit in pretty much anywhere. You just seem to relate much better to many different realities. Is that how she learned how to act? Yes. Back in Italy, she was in a play and she was discovered by her an agent, really, and it just whew, opened the doors for her. No, 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 no. When the doors opened to that world and she was about to get sucked into that world and start making movie after movie, she slammed it shut because Nadia found herself being a product not a person I didn't want to be part she didn't want to participate in any way in something that doesn't create anything she left Well, I'm angry because I don't adapt in that infrastructure that exists and I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it.
after Nadia died, them, which are Nadia's initials, Nadia Eva Mazwita, became a, a new person who wasn't about to stand there and criticize the system, but would endeavor to find some alternative way to get everyone involved. So in five years, I have not touched money. And I just wanted to see how on edge could I possibly carry on living or just live and continued on this path, just listening and collecting stories and doing a just personal research on wanting to understand what do people lack, really? What do people want? I looked into socialism, communism, fascism, free enterprise, and I found them all lacking in a real grasp of what the human being is. They all seemed so far afield because they did have judgments. Why are you eating the heads of the fish? Because they're delicious. <laughs> because I've had them always. Um, and why should I waste them? I, yes, I eat kosher food. No. And what about the headscarf? Are you a Muslim? No. Are you mad? <laughs> Why is it so important for you to, to, to put a finger on what I am? Other cultures have different value systems and there's a lot of wisdom sometimes. We are technically well informed, but we're not wise. What is it that you want? Our problems are technical, not political. They cannot be solved by politicians, no matter how sincere they are. It isn't ethical people that we need, it's people that can find solutions to the problems. I have found out that I am not the only one out there yeah, I believe I have found the future. Where are we? We're in Venus. Someone very, very special lives here in Venus. My name is Jacques Fresco. I'm 91 years old. I am a futurist, industrial designer. That is, I look to the future for many solutions to the world's problems. To me, communism, socialism, fascism, I'm not radical enough at this age. They belong in the past. They're old-fashioned ideas. The things I'm talking about are very different. They have nothing to do with the opinions of people. They have to do with the carrying capacity of the Earth. Can the Earth supply enough food and enough energy to take care of everyone on Earth? Yes. There's far more than enough to take care of everyone on Earth. The Venus Project is a collection of facts and information put to test to see if they work. I've tried it on different people. And when they get to work, when the system works, then you put all these elements together and you try to make this information available. And the only way to stop war that I know of is to declare the Earth as the common heritage of all the world's people in a resource-based economy where there's no money 
where we make things available through distribution centers. Everything that the normal and average person would need is made available without subservience, debt, slavery, money, barter, any of those systems. And freedom to access whatever you want without you going through a committee and asking for something. There's no committee that's just in judgment of you. So Otika Zero is a point of, of awareness, of complete awareness. It's a direction. We can't live in utopia. We need to seek tangible alternatives. I don't know what the best system on earth is, but I do know if we apply the methods of science to the social system without profit, moves the culture ahead fantastically fast. I'm not talking about perfection or utopia. I know we can build a far better world without war, without most crimes, without the need for prisons, and without the need for money. We can surpass that. We have the technical ability. We want to take advantage of the human mind. It's the greatest untapped resource in the world. A resource-based economy is a tangible solution because it is an opportunity to gather the wisdom that we actually have and direct it through intelligent use of technology towards Ottica Zero.